Hello scrappers. So today I will work on these 10 hard drive boards. They're pretty old ones, SCSI or Paravel interface, no modern serial ones. And I'll do something I call complete depopulation. I will remove the chips. I will remove the tantalum capacitors. I will remove the MLCCs and I will remove the gold fingers. We'll trim them, remove the plastic. And at the end, I will have chips, capacitors, gold plated fingers. So uh, it's, it's really curious to me to check these 10 boards because there are many videos on the internet and um, they are uh, advising that these boards are really good for scrapping, not for saving. So I want to check personally how much uh, MLCCs I'll get from them, how many uh, chips uh, or memory chips or ICs I will recover from these 10 boards. What I will use, I love my chisel. I always depopulate this board with a chisel. And um, what I usually do, I, I go to the capacitors, I just touch them like this and that's all, it's removed. So I will start with the MLCCs. I will then move to the uh, memory ICs and at the end I will cut these gold plated fingers. Of course, I will not waste your next 20 minutes to watch me doing this. I will show you the result at the end. Let me just quickly show you how I remove the chips. I usually cut them. So I use a knife, I cut the chips and then with the chisel, it's really easy. I just touch them and remove them. So same with the ICs. You may even cut them only from two sides or three sides and use the chisel to remove them. So this one is ready. That's my way to cut chips. I usually do this in my workshop or at home. I don't want to make big noise or to uh, chips to fly around because my daughter may find them. So I try to make it clean and as easy as I can. Okay, after one hour from these boards, I have that product. To be honest, I'm not impressed and I'm really not enthusiastic to continue scrapping hard drives and their boards for palladium, gold containing chips, gold plated pins, etc. Because from these boards I have really maybe not even a hundred grams of chips, some good gold plating, but uh, I mean it's uh, it's not as thick as 1980. It's modern 2000 plus year gold plating that is almost nothing. Maybe there is 0.1 at maximum gold in all of this and only one good chip or two I don't even count the tantalums so from my perspective not, not, not really enthusiastic and uh, not really into this uh, hard drive board scrapping that's okay if you have nothing else to do and uh, if they come for free but uh, if you're buying them, just consider that, I mean, one server board can have more than all these hard drive boards that I just scrapped. Thank you.